A district judge is set to be on the other side of the bench next week after being indicted on bribery charges. Judge Rudy Delgado will face a judge in Houston to hear his for his arraignment next Friday. The indictment states that the, that the 93rd district judge solicited and demanded bribes for his own benefit. This all stems from an FBI invasion that began in November 2016. We begin with breaking news tonight where we've confirmed that there are multiple FBI agents at the Hidalgo County Courthouse right now. Details as to why are not being released at this time. Hidalgo County Sheriff Eddie Guetta did send out a tweet just hours ago to the media saying, quote, I can confirm that the FBI is conducting a law enforcement activity at the Hidalgo County Courthouse 93rd District Court. It first started at the 93rd District Court in Hidalgo County, then it moved to the home of 93rd District Court Judge Rudy Delgado. Two FBI raids led to the arrest of Judge Delgado, who spent the weekend behind bars. The judge was released just a few hours ago, and our cameras were rolling as he left the federal court this afternoon. CBS 4's Jelani Martinez is live in McAllen to pick up our continuing coverage. Jelani. Nicole, 93rd State District Court Judge Rodolfo Rudy Delgado has been released on a $100,000 bond after he was arrested on Friday on bribery charges. According to the criminal complaint, the investigation by the FBI against Delgado began in November 2016. The complaint state, states that Delgado allegedly accepted bribes in exchange for favorable judicial consideration on cases pending in his courtroom. The FBI used a confidential informant, a Texas attorney who confessed a bribing Delgado all the way back to 2008. The complaint goes on to state that on January 17th this year, the FBI set up an undercover investigation where the confidential source was equipped with audio and video recording devices. The FBI recorded a phone call where the source made plans to meet Delgado at a restaurant. When meeting up with Delgado, the source stated that he or she had cash for him and in exchange needed Delgado's help on a case where a client had a pending motion to revoke. According to the criminal complaint, Delgado allegedly acknowledged and accepted the money. On the following day, according to the complaint, Delgado placed the confidential source's client on bond. Outside the federal courthouse this afternoon, when asked if he would return to the bench, Delgado said, I don't know how to answer that as there are other authorities that uh, may have a say in that as well. According to the criminal complaint, the FBI says that they believe Delgado was trying to cover up the bribe after he contacted the source about a week later, stating that the campaign contributions needed to be by check. We are following another breaking situation at a home in Edinburgh where we receive reports of large police activity there. That's where we find CBS Force Priscilla Estrada, who's live at the scene right now with the latest on this developing situation. Priscilla. Nicole, right now we're at a home in Edinburgh, right off of the corner of Junior and Depot, where there is a lot of police activity happening right now. Now, if you take a look, this home, there are currently state troopers who have this residence blocked off. And if you take a look this way through the fence, we can see a lot of vehicles out here, maybe around 15 to 20 or though back there on the property. Now, we did speak to FBI spokeswoman Michelle Lee, who tells us that all the information that she can provide is what the sheriff already tweeted, and we can also confirm that one, no, one unknown individual was arrested in connection with the FBI search. However, we cannot connect what is happening at the courthouse and out here at this residence in Edinburgh. Now, at this moment, this is all the details that we can provide you, and we will continue to follow this story and bring you the latest. New developments in the case against District Judge Rudy Delgado. Today, we've learned that just hours after his indictment Wednesday, the judge's license was suspended by the State Commission on Judicial Conduct. This comes after Delgado was arrested last month on bribery charges in connection to an ongoing investigation by the FBI. The U.S. Attorney's Office has granted a request from Judge Rudy Delgado to change attorneys in his upcoming bribery case. Earlier this month, the 93rd District Court judge was arrested for bribery in exchange for favorable judicial consideration. According to the criminal complaint, the U.S. Attorney's Office believes Delgado's attorney has a conflict of interest. The judge granted Delgado's request for attorney Michael McCrum to replace Al Alvarez and Fernando Mancias. 
Delgado is also asking the judge to travel to Austin and San Antonio over the weekend to meet with his attorneys.